this is not gonna fit. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a small Shein haul. For those of you who don't know what Shein is or haven't shopped with Shein before, Shein is an online store who sells affordable clothing. I do plan on doing a much bigger shop towards the end of the year. So for now I just grabbed several things because my wardrobe was screaming for some sort of an update. Mostly because I have reached my first goal of losing about 20 kilos, which I am so proud of myself. And some of my things in my current wardrobe just aren't quite fitting the same. <laughs> I was a little unsure on some of the sizings just because I haven't been able to try on any new clothes since. So I'm hoping things will fit but I guess we'll just have to see. Just to put this out there, this video is not at all sponsored so everything that I say or any of my comments made about any of the clothing will be my own honest opinion. Postage I thought was pretty quick. I think it took around five business days to arrive except for one item which I think arrived seven days later. Anyway, before I bore you too much, let's get into it. So the first thing I have is a simple sky blue play suit. It feels like a decent quality material, doesn't really seem see-through. I guess you could say it's reasonably thick. It has a cute little frilly sleeve on it. And it also comes with a belt, which I'm assuming just wraps around and ties up at the front. I do like the open back detail on this because otherwise it is a reasonably plain or simple play suit. So it's very comfortable on. The color is absolutely stunning. I will say, because it doesn't have the adjustable straps, I am a little bit worried <laughs> about this area. Um, I mean, I haven't walked around in it a lot, so it might be okay, but I do feel like it is, uh, I guess, gathering a little bit. It was a little bit annoying trying to get the back clasp up by myself, but we eventually got there. The only downfall for me was when I was trying to thread this little belt through. Unfortunately, one of the little loops here did break, but I mean, there is one on this side, and because it ties up, you don't really need it there anyway. The next item I have is a dark blue play suit. This one has little adjustable straps here, which I'm hoping if it is too short in the body that I can adjust those to make it a little bit longer and fit a little bit nicer. It has little wooden kind of looking buttons here, which are just on for looks because this front part doesn't actually open. It also comes with its own little wrap around belt. I think the material is a very light and I guess decent quality material itself. And I think it'll be nice and light to wear in summer. I think this place it would have to be close second favorite. I just love the way it fits. I love the adjustable straps because obviously I can make it a little bit longer. Um, the belt just gives it a nice finish. Everything seems like it's made pretty well. Decent quality, the material is it's quite soft and it's just super comfortable to wear. So this next one is also a jumpsuit. It's a beautiful red color and I absolutely loved it in the picture. It has a little belt, which I'm assuming by the color of the material that it wraps around the front once it's on. It has long thin spaghetti strap style straps which do have adjusters as well it's just got a really nice flowy bottom to it this place it would have to be one of my favorites by far it fits super well it has adjustable straps at the back yes please excuse my bra i'm obviously not wearing the right one but if you could imagine it without it i think it's stunning when I first put it on, the straps were really, really loose and the top part did sit down quite low. Once I adjusted them, I'm very happy with where they are sitting now. However, 
um, it is leaving quite a gap uh, towards the outside of my chest. I have figured that if you do pull the straps out to the side a little bit, it makes it worse. If you do pull them, if you do pull them in towards the center more, it definitely closes it off. So this extra material down the bottom, I just think is so fun and playful and just gives the play suit a lot of movement. Overall, massive thumbs up for me. I love it, cannot wait to wear it somewhere. <laughs> this one is a red and blue checkered peplum top. I think that's what you call this design. Reasonably stretchy material, which I love a good stretchy material. Nothing better than when you've gone out for dinner, eaten a whole lot of food and you have room to move. <laughs> This top feels so good on, um, it's, so it's very comfortable. I love the peplum style down the bottom. I feel like it pulls me in at the waist here. In this light, it looks like the color sort of fades a little bit as the material gets a little bit stretched. I'm not sure if that would be very noticeable in person. But I can see myself definitely getting a lot of use out of this top because I just feel like you could dress it up or dress it down. And yeah, it's just super comfortable. So the next top I have is another peplum top in, do you call this houndstooth? It seems like a very similar quality and material to the other top. This one, once again, is a very similar fit to the last top. It's very much the same material, nice and stretchy, pulls me in at the waist again. I do um, notice that with this one, the material doesn't go so shiny when it is a little bit stretched out. So yeah, at least that's a benefit. This next top I have, I love so much and I can't wait to try it on. It's a gorgeous little red cropped top with a cute little ruffled sleeve. It has these ties on the side, which I think you could probably wear undone, but the photo did show that they were tied up like this. It has a little gathered material here at the front and at the back, which I'm assuming will allow for a bit more stretch. It's a really nice light and airy material which I think will keep you nice and cool in summer or on the warmer days. Oh. I've only just noticed now that, I don't know if you can see that very well on camera. There's a little hole just here. Oh well, unless if I catch it on something, it's not actually going to affect how it wears. Maybe I could just put a little stitch in it or something. I love this top on. It's so light. I love the little design or the little detail on the sleeve. I would consider this to fit quite well. It is quite big in the chest area, but I feel like either way, if you had a bigger or a smaller chest, you could get away with it. Or you could maybe even just pin at the front there if you needed a little bit of extra coverage. Um, I quite like these little tassels or ties on the sides. I'm not sure it would look all that good if you were to undo them. Might look a little bit better if they were maybe even just tied. I would pair this with maybe a skirt or maybe a pair of high-waisted jeans. This next top I have is a little bit difficult to show on camera, but it's a blue and white pinstripe off the shoulder or one shoulder top, which isn't a very stretchy material. It does have a little bit of elastic here in the back, but other than that, there is no room for error. It does come with these bits here, which I think from memory tie up around the front. And it just has a zip here at the side to make it easier to get into. I did order the largest size they have in this top, which probably was the next size down to what I really wanted, but I thought I'd get it anyway and just 
fingers crossed, hope for the best that I can get away with it. Okay, so this one, as you can probably tell, it is not the right size for me, unfortunately, which is quite a shame because I really liked this top. I love the color. I did get it done up. However, on my way up, I did split the seam. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't have to pull really that hard and I did hear it split, so I'm just assuming that it was maybe a bit of a weak stitching anyway. Because there is no stretch in the material, unfortunately, I can't get away with it. The only thing is, even if this was the next size up, I really don't think I'd be able to get my arm into this off the shoulder part anyway. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get away with wearing this. Then I have some gorgeous flowy pants, which are made of a really light weight material, which would be great for summer. They have a bit of stretch here at the back and nothing in the front. And they come with a little belt here at the front, which is not actually a belt. It's just a little bit of decoration. And my favorite part, they have a really high split. <laughs> so these are the pants on. I think that they fit really well. They might cling a little bit too much around the stomach here for me at the moment, but I'm sure if I lost a few kilos, a few extra kilos, um, that that wouldn't be a problem. Um, they feel super flowy, really lightweight, uh, they're not see-through at all, and I'm really loving this high split up the leg. <laughs> the next thing I have is this black mini skirt, and it ties up at the side here and has this bit of material that comes across the front to make that crossover sort of look at the front there. material might seem, I don't know if you can see that, might seem a little bit see-through now, but I think because it's black when you've got it on, it might not be so bad. It also comes with a little zip at the side and a little clasp. Uh, I'm assuming just to make it easier to get on. So this skirt actually fits quite well. Uh, I find it's quite flattering. This little wrap around here that ties up at the side, I find help hides or covers the stomach area. I don't know if there's more than one way to tie this, but I kind of just tied it in a simple bow at the side. It unwraps like this, and then just wraps back up. This little V here at the front, I think gives it a nice finish. And it does have a little zip here at the side, which made it super easy to get on and off. I wouldn't say that the material is at all see-through. Maybe in the light it could be different, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this. Next, I have this, I guess, royal blue dress or top. <laughs> I guess you could wear it as both. It's a very sort of oversized boxy design which is something that I'm not very used to, but I thought it looked really comfortable, really flowy, uh, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. It's a reasonably thick material, which I think would be great because it would mean that you wouldn't have to wear anything underneath it. This gorgeous um, bell sleeve, I think that's what you would call it. I feel like I should be in some sort of a play wearing this. I, I'm just not used to such a flowy, boxy sort of design. I actually quite like the colour. It's super comfortable. As a dress, it is reasonably short, especially at the front. But you can probably get away with putting some leggings or some tights underneath this, just to be a little bit more modest. Um, I would personally try and pair this with a belt. I did see some of the girls in the reviews pair it with a belt. I do have one, and only one. <laughs> So let's hope that one works. I definitely think the belt gives it a lot more shape, which I'm really quite liking. Yeah, I think I'd definitely wear this 
um, paired with the right shoe, maybe even just like an over shoulder bag or something. Yeah, I can see this working. I did buy the same dress top in a different color. I really like this sort of burnt orange color. The quality and material and the stitching of it all seems very much the same um, as the other top. So there's not really too much extra I can say on this purchase. I think this would look really nice with tan or black accessories. Belt, maybe bag, shoes. You could probably wear even like a wedge or a heeled shoe with this as well. I'm just going to try it on with the belt just for good measure. Yeah, once again, I think I like these with a little bit more shape. Probably could go a slightly thicker belt even. Um, but yeah. This next thing I got, I was a little bit unsure about. It's a jumpsuit. It's a really, really nice blue gray color. I'm not really sure what color you would call that. It's not really uh, a designer I would normally wear. It does have a really low crutch, um, but I guess we'll just have to see how that turns out when it's on. Um, because it is a really nice flowy material, I think it will be great for a warmer day. And it has pockets! <laughs> this one does also come with adjustable straps, which once again, for this type of piece of clothing, I think is great. It does have a bit of a stretch to it, not that I think that really matters when it is a quite a flowy design anyway. I am the biggest idiot though, I don't know how I managed to do it, but I ordered two. <laughs> I don't know how or why, but anyway, my mistake, my bad, maybe I can give one to one of my friends or family and we can be twins. <laughs> This jumpsuit I'm still in two minds about. I love the colour. It's such a nice soft play suit, uh, sorry, jumpsuit to wear. Love that it has pockets. I think I'm a little bit unsure because it doesn't give you a whole lot of shape. I don't know, maybe would it work better with a belt? I'm not sure. Put a belt on. I'm still I mean and ahhing about whether it really works. Maybe with a different coloured belt. As I said, this is the only belt that I do have. So maybe with a tan coloured belt or a bag or something. Other than that, the quality of it still feels amazing. Definitely has a 10 out of 10 comfort factor. And finally, the last thing I got was this gorgeous pair of black shoes. I am a size 11 and in the reviews, um, they did say that their sizes did run a little bit small. These do say that they are a size 11, but we'll find the real truth when I try them on. They are a gorgeous design. They have a black, almost like faux leather look here. And on the back, if you can see that, it's almost like a snake or crocodile Skin effect. They have a zip at the back which seems like it works pretty well and I think that you could get away with wearing this sort of style of shoe uh, with most types of pants or skirts or dresses and yeah. So these are the boots on. I did get them on, however, I do feel like they are a little bit tight maybe. If they stretched, they'd be absolutely perfect. They look really nice and I, yeah, I'm excited to try them out. I am not at all used to wearing anything with the heel these days anyway, so I, I do apologize if I look like a baby animal in them, <laughs> a baby animal trying to walk. I think if they stretch a little bit, that'll be amazing. I can feel um, them pushing a little bit on the backs of my legs there, but I think most boots would probably do that anyway, wouldn't they?
have for you guys today. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you want me to do something like this again or have any other video ideas, comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post and notifications bell so you are notified every time I do post a video. See you next time. Bye.